Welcome to Hollywood on Top. I'm Marta Bloom and I'm here with sports statistician from Rishmi Sports, Frankie the bartender. And we are going to break down Hollywood by the numbers. Ready, Frankie? Oh, I'm always ready. This one's on me, Marta. Okay, let's start with the ladies. And I know you like the ladies. Tell me, Frankie, which box office babe is making the big box? Well, when it comes to cold cash, there's a new queen in town and her name is Emma Stone. Let me break it down Ooh. for you. The superstar of only 28 years old reportedly made 26 million in 2017. Now, 26 million might sound like a lot, but let's see how it stacks up against other leading ladies who reached the okay, top. Okay, let's see. All right, Jennifer Lawrence last year banked 46 million, and the year before that, she pulled in a whopping 52 million. Whoa! Sandra Bullock came back down to earth after booking 51 million for Gravity in 2014, and in 2013, Angelina Jolie got a wicked 33 million for her role as Maleficent. Well, the year's not over. I'm sure Emma can find some deep pockets in La La Land. And speaking of deep pockets, looks like the Big Apple is coming to Hollywood. No, not that Big Apple, Apple Computers. The makers of your iPhone have set a budget of over $1 billion to produce original programming in the next year. In this town, is that Big Pocket? Well, they might have to iPad their budget to hang with the big boys. Let me break it down for you. In primetime Hollywood, one billion only goes so far. Maybe 10 shows from two to five million an episode. Consider the competition. Time Warner reportedly spent double that in the last year. Amazon plans to spend 4.5 billion in 2017, and Netflix is reported to be spending a whopping 7 billion in 2017. Well, Apple might have to shake that money tree a little harder. It was a cold summer for blockbusters, and Variety says Hollywood studios may be scared to show their summer report cards to their corporate bosses. After all, ticket sales were down 12% year over year as flops like The Mummy and King Arthur, Legend of the Sword failed to attract crowds. So we thought we would take this time to look at the highest grossing summer blockbusters of all time to see if we could provide some inspiration for Hollywood to get their mojo back. Frankie, break it down for us. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break it down for you. Coming in at number 10, Jurassic World in 2015 grossed 698 million. Number nine, Raiders of the Lost Ark in 1981, 782 million. Number eight, The Lion King in 1994, 788 million. Number seven, Star Wars The Phantom Menace in 1999, another 798 million. Number six, Jurassic Park again, 1993, 812 million. Coming in at number five, Star Wars The Return of the Jedi in 1983, 831 million. Coming in at number four, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back in 1980 with 867 million. Number three, Jaws in 1975 with $1.1 billion. Number two, E.T. The Extraterrestrial 1982 with $1.2 billion. And wouldn't you know it, Star Wars A New Hope 1977 with $1.5 billion. Whoa, speaking of New Hope with Stephen King's It, Blade Runner, Murder on the Orient Express, Justice League and some others, maybe fall will be the season to be jolly. Speaking of seasons, when we come back, you're going to meet the power duo that's taking the star's hit show Survivor's Remorse into season four. For what's hot in Hollywood, from the top of Hollywood, it's Hollywood on top.